Hey everybody, so 343 released Super Gun Game, or really it's called Super Escalation Slayer to Halo Infinite. I've been wanting to cover this game mode ever since it came out, because I think there's nothing cooler than rotating through every single weapon, getting a massive multi-kill with every different gun, and you guys seem to enjoy watching it too. Super Escalation, or Super Gun Game, recently released on Halo Infinite, and what makes it so super? Well 343 has added the campaign weapons and equipment to each one of the weapon tiers, which means everything is almost a one hit kill. Everything is super powerful, everything that is except the damn Rebound Ravager. That weapon is probably the worst gun on Halo Infinite. The Rebound Ravager is absolutely terrible. You can shoot someone point blank with that gun and it will do nothing. It will just bounce straight off. You can even bounce it into an enemy and it still will not do any damage. There's actually a couple weapons like that. The Plasma Pistol is more of a shotgun. You charge up the Plasma Pistol and shoot it and it takes off shields. So to make it a bit easier for people, 343 actually made it so that melee kills actually level you to the next level. I thought it was a really good change because there's nothing worse than being stuck on a weapon that literally does not work and I would imagine for beginner level players if it's annoying for people who play all the time it's gonna be an absolute nightmare for them so I think it was a smart decision overall. The only other weapon that isn't from the campaign is the Bandit. 343 also put that in as well and I honestly prefer the free-for-all version to the team-based one because it feels like a proper gun game mode. I know they have to rework it for the team-based version but still. Now speaking of the special campaign weapons I've seen a lot of comments recently and they just started happening but a lot of people have been complaining about Super Fiesta. They said that because everything is so powerful even more so than any other game everything's almost a one hit kill that it's hard for them to move around the maps on super fiesta now because they just die over and over again 343 has said they're going to be combining both fiesta and super fiesta into one really big fiesta mode so it'll be the campaign weapons the normal weapons the normal equipment and the special equipment all mixed into one and i think that's the way it should be that will mean there's more weapon variety and not everything won't be as powerful so you'll have some more freedom to move around the map with all of that said great update by 343 just seems like we're moving in the right direction every update we get now is honestly a positive instead of me criticizing news and all these bad things that are happening which i covered a lot last year i find myself doing a lot more positive a lot more upbeat videos and I prefer that way more. So with that said, enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Props to 343, another great update in the books. I hope they keep it up. Thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.